Hello viewers, my name is Adi Peter. I'm here to introduce you to a channel where you can watch a spirit lift movie, Christian movies, and different kind of Christian content. Quickly go to YouTube, type Fog TV, F O G TV, subscribe and ring the bell. You will be notified anytime we put on a new content. Fog TV, leading you back.
Ah, sir, the city network has failed again. I'm confused myself. Circumstances beyond our control. But I'd like to liken what is happening here today to the case of a young couple. They were newly wedded, but the wife was an asthmatic patient. Please, I'm going somewhere with my story. One day, the husband left home for work and by mistake took along the wife's inhaler. Not long after he had left home, the wife suffered an attack. And she rushed to her phone to call her husband. Incidentally, the husband was still within the vicinity. In fact, he was right within their estate. This woman's phone was well charged. The battery was well charged. And it was full of airtime. But when she picked it, network failed at that time. And she was unable to get in touch with her husband. She tried her best. But there was nothing she could do. And this young husband came back in the evening to meet the dead body of his wife. Now tell me, ladies and gentlemen, who is this young man going to blame? Who is he going to be angry with? Network. The culprit is network. And that's exactly what is happening here today. Network is the enemy. We have come a long way together as business partners. Network shouldn't cause enmity within us. We want to encourage you, please, bear with us. Remember that when there was no network, Golden Bank was here for you. And when the network chooses to return, Golden Bank will still be here for you. I assure you that each of you will leave this banking hall with smile on your faces and with your heart's desire fulfilled. Is that okay? So let's relax, ladies and gentlemen. We are working on it. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh. Thank God, though. Aha! <laughs> Pastor. Oh, sorry. Mr. Kingsley. <laughs> Thank God for the wisdom of God upon your life. Thank God, sir. You thank God, God thank God, thank God. Yes, I cherish it all. Thank you, sir.
with my daughter. Sorry for disturbing you. So I can still be happy over Flora. speaking with. This is Pastor Handy. Pastor Ainde from Lagos. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Kinsley. He's a very wonderful brother. Yes. He's our church youth coordinator. His life is a testimony. In fact, he is a child of God indeed. Wonderful! You are the church pastor of his friends? He used to tell me about her. Bless you, sir. Uh, in fact, Brockinsley is very good. You see, sir, as a pastor, I also learned a lot from him. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay. 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 Bye, sir. Thank you. Wonderful. Go, please. Ah, ah. No, 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 no. This is not possible. It's impossible. Kingsley is one of the viable and most serious staff I have in this branch. No, this will drastically affect us. No, it's not possible. How much loan did you ask for? 2.5 million. 2.5 million. I've discussed with the GM and he has approved it. Oh, that's very really good. So, okay. on one condition, you will need two guarantors. And each of them must have an account with this bank. How soon can you bring them? Tomorrow. But you Tomorrow? Yes. That will be fine. Um, I'm going to give you some forms to fill and bring along with you tomorrow. Is that okay? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Could have called me on the intercom instead of calling yourself. Jesus. This letter is very urgent and beyond me. And as you can see, it's directly from our headquarter. It's alright, sir. Thank God for everything. All right, sir. Thank you very much.
Your countenance has changed since you came back from the chair's office. Ha! No! No, 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 no. This can't be! Ha! What are you doing about this? He says there's nothing I can do. No! This must not happen! Oh! GM! Please! What are you doing about this wrong executive decision? You know it will definitely adversely affect our production in this branch. Ha! He's not allowing it. But what shall we do? Oh. Ah, please, let's think fast. Let's act fast. Oh. I know this is the work of that Mr. Ibikule who visited our branch some weeks ago. I think we should talk that over again. <laughs> well, I can't sleep. Oh, Please. Flora. The announcement that passed on me. Is it true or a joke? Listen to me, Flora. I want you to know that you have a big goal. Who cares for you more than Brokinsley can ever care for you? Do you understand? The fango for the GSM. I'll keep in touch with you by phone. Mm -hmm. You will not be alone. What you mean to say now is that it's true. Yes, it is. But God, why you know I won't be able to go far with you? Why did you say anything to me at all? When my life was shattered and crumbled, when all hope was lost, you came around and my life was removed and mended again. I was happy, but I never knew you to fall apart and fall again. Brokin, what can I do without you? You are my pastor, my shepherd, my, my mentor. Flora, don't take it like this. Flora! Brokin, oh, I'm there. Your transfer at this time is a bit lost with this charge. And in fact, I don't know who can replace you in this charge. Anyway, the search is life. I want you to see me in my hospital before you go. Please do that. Thank you, sir. Never break the If you break the rule, the consequences might be hit and at you. The consequences might be hit and at you. Never break the rule. Never break the rule. Cause those who break the rule. And the consequences be done. Cause those who break the rules, and the consequences be done. Never break the rules. If you break the rules, the consequences, the consequences.
get it, me accept it. People may love it, I don't know. Society may accept it. People may love it, I don't know. But it is not God will for you. Don't never follow my attitude. But... Hello? Yeah! What? We are not even there yet. And you are weary of the offensive world and the shouts of comments that are coming from there. So, this place is called. You haven't seen anything yet. So, let us go. This man, this man worked so tremendously to depopulate the kingdom of darkness. In fact, he was really a thorn in their flesh. But my son, he forgot. Oh God, oh God, he was not careful and so the kingdom of darkness got him you know the kingdom of darkness they are very very effective in their cunning ways so cunningly they put lie into his life and he became a liar he became so terrible a liar that it, it became part and parcel of him how on phone <laughs> on phone Anytime he did not want to see anybody, he would tell a lie on phone that he was neither around nor available. When in actual fact he was around, very much around. Ah! 
little by little, they allowed pride to creep into his life. I made frantic efforts to bring him back. I sent so many messengers, used many media to correct him. But he was other man. How old are you? What is your experience in this ministry? Let me tell you, I have spent 10, 10 good years in the ministry. And you say you want to... What? What? Out! Out! Nonsense. Hmm. Until finally, they pushed into his life the spirit of adultery and fornication which eventually landed him there. Son, as you can see, this is where he has landed himself. And see the way he is being punished. Please, Father, can't you help him? This, this is too much. What they are doing to him is too much. Please. After all, you did those things for your sake. Please. Ah. Son, there is nothing I can do about it. Or do you think I am happy to see those that I died for suffer this way? No. Not a bit. But that is what they have chosen for themselves. And there is nothing anybody can do about it. So, come. should perish. In fact, it is my desire that all should be saved. But remember, it is written that it is appointed unto man to die but once. And after this, the judgment. They are not even facing judgment yet. They are still here resting, awaiting the judgment day. Please, I will pay back. Ah, oh, thank God. Thank oh, God. Please help me to make you. Maybe I will listen to you. That all the money I got on the crooked way. I will call it back to the temples. They should just lie down on this place. Ah, oh. oh, woman. What have you done? 
two, one, we here, why? Ah! Oh! I don't know! I don't know! I was to go well or not! Most of the time I use human power to acquire many contracts that I didn't deserve. All the suspects are there with me. I get it. If you break the rule, the consequences might be hit and a The consequences might be hit and a Never break the rule. Never break the rule. Cause those who break the rule. The consequences be done Cause those who break the rule the consequences be done Never break the rule If you break the rule The consequences The consequences Might be hit and The consequences might be hit and I do Never break the rule Never break the rule Cause those who break the rule And the consequences Come see you later And I know I know I was to become a successful contractor. Many times I got money for original materials, but because I wanted to become rich, I used inferior materials, which I made me a tell how much money. Ah, but where's my money now? The people that never work for it are not spending it. Can you know what I'm facing here now? <sighs> Many times, political leaders, governors, senators, and the rest class with me. They are going to award a big contract to me in order to get money out of government funds. And later, some project will be around them after the money my dad will share. But I used to pay my tax regularly, and my father never told me that nothing ever can break Oh, I know. Please, I'm tired of this awful torment. My soul is burning. Take me back to paradise where I belong, Father. Oh, Kingsley. <laughs> How many seconds have you spent here and we are tired already? Ah, oh, Father, I can't be here anymore. This place is terrible, horrible, and sorrowful. Let me go. Let's go, Father. Son, you want to go to where you belong? Yes, Father. But son, I have already done that. I know, I know, but I want to go back now. Let me go and rest in paradise. I can't be at this place again. Kensley, my son. <laughs> I am sorry to disappoint you. This is where you belong. Son, 
than you did. Even the heavens were so excited and they recorded all your activities. How you dealt with the kingdom of darkness. How you were a thorn in their flesh. All recorded and all the credits given you. But, son, but, that is a but. Despite the white garment that you have on, what is this black belt doing around your waist? Ah, my God, my God, my God, my God, how did this get there? Ah, ah. Son, <laughs> yes, I know you don't understand. Ah. But the sins of many are obvious. Sins of some go before them, before they are dead. And sins of some trail them to the throne of judgment. Understand. Bless you, my brother. I caught you a long time. How is life with you? Pastor, it's not easy. Hmm. In fact, something serious happened this afternoon, and that's why I've come to see you. What is that? Feel free to talk to me. My friend who has been squatting me for some time just ejected me out of his house this afternoon. He said I'm disturbing his life program. <laughs> Bro, kiss me. What did you expect him to say? Is it lie? Now listen. You are the architect of your own problem. You constitute your problems yourself. Proverbs 23 verse 23 says, Buy the truth. And sell it not. Get wisdom, discipline, and understanding. I will sell some truth to you. If you like, you buy it. If you like, you discard it. Now let me ask you a question. What is your discipline? Economics. Hmm. And your grade? Um, I had a second class upper. In fact, I, I won the state award during my NYC days. Shut up, fool! Is that what we're talking about? You have such a wonderful result, and I have witnessed about four different banks inviting you for a test, and about two other communication companies. I, I went for those tests. It's just that I was screened out because of my age. Ah! Oh God! Wisdom. wisdom is profitable to direct. When Abraham was in such a condition like this, he knew he was going to be killed by the king. But he had to lie to save his life. He lied and he lived. If he had died then, how can he be claiming his blessings today? It's not possible, of course. Now, this is the truth. God himself allows some holy lives in order to save your head. Now, son God, you have a young and baby face. Why can't you with this your age? Pass now to get the job. Isn't that a sin? Sin? What is a sin? What did you understand by sin? What is the definition of a sin? If you don't want to tarry so long at this junction, you had better take a step. Is that your problem? <laughs> yes, sir. Brokinsley, do you really love God? Of course I do, sir. Fine. My dear brother, I want to save you. If you really love God and your target on earth is heaven, please don't do it. 
This is the handwork of the devil. He looks for ways to lure so many youth into his trap. When he knew he could not get them, he gives his assignments to banks and these private companies. Having known for the world that a well qualified graduate like you, who is above that age limit, will try his best to secure such a job by reducing his age. I'm sorry to say this. They are agents of the devil. But excuse me, sir. What is it? <laughs> Broke his sleep. A frustrated, unemployed graduate like you will do anything, anything I said to get such a job. Even if it is by telling just a little lie. And remember, no unrighteous one will see ever. Either only lie or an only lie. A lie is a lie. Let me read it to you from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 14. Okay, listen to me. Stand therefore, having your lens get with the truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness. Your waist must be tied with the belt of truth. You don't need to reduce your age. At the appointed time, God will give you your own job. Don't sell that truth that you have. Hold fast to that thing that is in your hand. Let no man or any circumstances take it away from you. Is that taken?
Good afternoon. Please, have your seats. Thank you. What can I do for you? Um, I would like to swear an affidavit oath. About what? About my age. My room got burnt and my birth certificate was burnt along with it. Oh, sorry about that. What's your name? Your home address and your age. the testimony of my new job on the pulpit to the congregation. No, 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 The testimony was just so fantastic. It was a wonderful testimony. Everybody in the church was highly encouraged. At least after five good years of being an unemployed graduate. Oh, no, no, no. I thank God for you. Thank you, sir. I thank God for you. Thank you, sir. I, I just pray that God will glorify Himself in this job that He's given to me. Amen. 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 Bless God. Bless God for that. Uh, <laughs> son, that was it. <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> you gave me credit for what I did not do for you. You gave me praise. You showered and come your on me for what I never did for you. <laughs> the devil, your father, did it for you because he has been the father of liars <laughs> since the beginning. <laughs> uh, son, you broke my decree. And that was what turned your belt to black. <laughs> You broke that decree, son. Decree 614. You broke it. The day you took that action, your belt ceased to be white, which I gave you. Remember what my decree said, decree 614, as it is written in the book of Ephesians. Guard your loin with the belt of truth. And my belt of truth has always been white, not black. You only covered your black belt with your white garment. Son, all the works you have done for me in the vineyard will not change my mind. Your passion, your zeal, your burden for the lost soul cannot change that decree. <laughs> Once the decree is broken, you suffer for it. It's a pity. Please, Father! 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 Stolen water is sweet. 
food eating in the secret is delicious. But little did he know that dead are there. And our quests are in the depth of the grave. But for you, Break the rule, find the consequences, Peter. 